Hey guys, Trav here, and today we're talking about day 11 of 150 miles on the Appalachian Trail. Let's get after it. So, day 11 was probably the worst day that I had on trail, mainly because early in the morning, got caught in a downpour, completely soaked from head to toe. Uh, thankfully, most of my stuff stayed dry and I was able to take a break in the middle of the day, about two and a half hours. And I did a little bit of a rewarming drill with my, with my, my, my down quilt. And I was able to, uh, between the quilt and my body heat, I was able to uh, get my clothes dried off and get back out. And actually I was able to put in 11.1 miles for the day. Ended up camping at a spot called Coleman Gap. And the reason I ended up there it was actually a little bit further than I wanted to hike. I kind of lost interest in the day thanks to the downpour and the delay that it put on me and everything. So I kind of just wanted to set up camp and call it a day, but I was actually found myself at a hot spot for bear activity and the Forest Service had signs all around about not camping in this place because of the human and bear interactions and encounters. So I ended up finding a place in between two bear hot spots, if you will, and uh, I didn't have any encounters that night, and all, by all accounts, most people <laughs> that were posting on Far Out slash Gut Hook said that it was the safest spot in the area, so that's where I ended up, at Coleman Gap. It was a nice little hollow down in the, uh, down in a valley, it was very quiet, I had the whole place to myself, so, you know, sometimes you just gotta deal the hand that is dealt to you, and that's what I did. But anyway, that's all I've got for day 11. Let's get to the hiking. All right, guys, this is it. We've got rain, rain, and rain. So it is going to be a long, uncomfortable day. Let's get after it, though. The quicker we get there, the quicker we get it done. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just not looking forward to this at all. I can't even express how much I don't like hiking in the rain. It is what it is. Here we go. spot uh that was windy it was cold it was wet it was windy it was nasty and i stand by the decision to stop instead of hiking it uh raincoat is wetted out so hopefully that's it for the day you know there's still gonna be some water coming out of the trees and stuff but hopefully that's that's the gist of it and i can find a spot I'm only five miles in today uh, I don't know if I can crank out another five, but I'm sure that I can at least get three or four more in. I mean, it looks like it's uphill, so so be it. But, alright, gonna go get after it.
shabby considering I took like a two and a half hour break to wait out that storm. Not a lot of good footage today, unfortunately. There was, uh, it was very cloudy, which in itself was kind of cool. Uh, a lot of fog, also kind of made for an eerie setting for sure. Uh, but it looks like we got a day and a half and we're gonna be into Franklin. Tomorrow is uh, 10 miles. Uh, I'm gonna stay at, uh, try to stay at one of the shelters. It looks like there's, there's definitely some climate tomorrow. And then, uh, so tomorrow will be a tough day. 10 miles, a lot of it uphill. And then uh, seven miles into Franklin from that, and most of that's downhill. And then uh, depending how f what time I get into Franklin, I might just see if I can find a hostel. Oh, looks like something bit me. Find a hostel or a cheap hotel or an Airbnb or something. And then uh, stay the night. Grab my supply box. And then get, get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, a night in town would be nice uh, we'll see how it goes you know I'm, I play a lot of that by ear so shrug right? <laughs> anywho gonna smash this mountain house and watch some TV and call it a night right. and my foot really hurts so...